Jay Bria, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get this look. Jumping straight into it, this wig is a wig that I made, I wanna say like a year and a half ago, close to like two years. Um, I am going to install this, do my makeup, and get ready. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So, this hair that I'm using is from my Hair Like J brand. Uh, I'm rebranding, restocking, and doing everything soon. So, please stay tuned for that. Thank you to everyone who has supported. Right now, I'm trying to lay this wig down. I already did the glue process. Um, I already did my brows as well. But yeah, I pre-staged a little bit. I uh, did the glue process, so I'm just laying it down, trying to get some type of start to it. Everything's going to be brushed back because I'm going to do a side part, and I want my side part to be very, very, very detailed. Uh, so I'm pushing everything back. I'm going in with the comb, flattening everything down. I notice I do a lot of things backwards. So I lay my edges and all of that stuff down last. Uh, I know a lot of people do it first and then they put the little uh, band on it so that it can stay. But I do it last because this is already a used wig. It's not a, a brand new lace. And it already has its uh, lace all cut out and stuff like that. So I know how I'm going to work the edges. I don't like the dramatic whole like edge baby hair thing. So I don't do anything really crazy. But I'm just cutting it because like I said it's used. Um, you know the glue wears down on the hair everything wears down on the hair so i'm just cutting it just to give it a little bit more of like a fresher look now i'm flat ironing it back everything's going back it was a middle part so you see how i got like that little ball spot there i actually have to cut it more but i didn't so i'm just doing you know flatten it down as a matter of fact in my next video i'm going to show y'all how i revamp a whole wig i'm gonna wash it i'm gonna pluck it i'm gonna turn it into a brand new wig so that you guys can see how i maintain and keep my wigs for years long i know a lot of people will be like oh when you pluck it it wears yeah it wears it down but you know you gotta learn how to take care of it so now i'm just tacking it down with some uh got to be spray i just started wearing wig glue uh, i like it um i apply it properly i take it off properly but right now, I'm just, I don't need that right now because I already put it on the base of the wig with my cap. So I'm just putting in some got to be. And you know how the got to be gets wet once you spray it on the lace? So that's why, um, you know, that was coming up. But I'm going to fix all of that. And then the end result, like, I know it looks crazy right now, but the end result, y'all, trust the process. Just trust the process. <laughs> that I have my tie on I am going to flat iron the hair um, this process is so long so I'm only going to show y'all bits and pieces of it uh, I really take my time when I flat iron my hair one because this wig has a I put a lot of tracks in here um, so when the lace does like you know go bad I'll just replace it but I'm going to show you how I part my hair because it's so much like you could tell all the tracks you can see all the tracks from the back but yeah, so I'm just going to section it out, put this one to the side, and then do the other side because it is a lot of hair. I don't know why I did that. But I made I made that wig with a lot of hair. Still sectioning out all of this blood clot ear. My God. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a process, y'all. Like, I really had to muster up the strength to do this video because it's just, it be a lot. Like doing it and then recording it at the same time and making sure you're recording it right and getting them angles and stuff. But, you know, we're going to push through. So this wig was that chestnut, um, it was like a chestnut brown, amber type of color. And I dyed it back black, but I did a horrible job at it. I didn't have enough dye and I was in A school in Pensacola, Florida. So I did what I had to do, okay? So it has like, I want to say like brown 
amber highlights in it and it's supposed to be jet black but yeah so I didn't even record the whole process of me flat ironing the hair because like I said these were a lot of bundles it was a lot it's a lot of hair in this wig so I um I know to, to you know to speed up the process I didn't record everything but I know the girls was like, how you laying your stuff? So I did, you know, for the one time, one time. Yeah. So my key to flat hair is hot comb, flat iron, hot comb, flat iron. Now, the, these are a lot of bundles, so it's a little bit more of a process. But I go back and forth with the hot comb and the flat iron. And this is the finished product. Very, very flat. Very flat. A lot of hair, but very flat. Now I'm just sectioning it off so I can get ready to curl it. I do from side to side, um, like how I flat ironed it, and then I do I start from the bottom up in section. I just know for sure these curls was gonna come out flawless, honey. I love pin curls because they're not so tight. Like if I wanted them tight, I'd probably use the flat iron and then roll them with the rods. But I love pin curls. It just gives that natural like look. I don't know. I, I I'm a fanatic for for pin curls. Uh, I go crazy for them. When I do curls, I normally like bone straight. But when I do curls, I go for the pin curl look. Um, not really like the the wand. Or if I do like do like a deep deep curl, it's most likely like a wet and wavy uh, wig where I just wet it and put like mousse in it and go about my day. Um, but if I'm doing like a natural curl, like on like this, pan curls is, is my go to. So I am done. This is the finished product. I know it looked crazy, but you know, I can't really see it recording in front of the camera. Now I'm gonna start doing my makeup. I'm using my foundation that I uh, always use, Beauty Supply Store Girl. Um, I'm actually noticing like the difference between when I apply my foundation versus um like my natural face 
and my foundation and concealer like really like set into my skin to make it look really really flawless like shout out to the beauty supply store in MAC because they really like it I don't know maybe it could be my application it could be the product itself it could be a little bit mix of both but yeah I did that Everything about you. So now I'm gonna go under, I'll go over my uh, concealer with my LAO Pro to give that contour look, putting it under my eyes, on my nose, under my nose, and on my chin. Then I'm gonna blend it in, and after I blend it in, I'm gonna go in with a darker LAO Pro concealer and put it under as like my contour type of uh, makeup look. Now I do this look a lot. Um, it worked for me. I know a uh, makeup artist would be like, she's not doing that right. But I do it how I like it. Um, I do what works for me. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know, but I still get compliments on my makeup. Now, the same concealer that I used to do, like, my brows and stuff, I put under my eye as well to give, like, a, just a lighter look uh, under my eyes and a lighter, like, contour. Uh, and then I blend that out with the beauty blender. Just cleaning up everything uh, before I start setting it with some setting powder. Now I'm blending in, setting with my setting powder. I'm I'm using Laura Mercier translucent for the top of my face under eye. So I'm going to let that set and then I'm going to use my HD Set and Forget setting powder for the rest of my face. Um, it's a brownish, I think the color is rich. I got it from the Beauty Supply Store and I love it. Uh, it just gives me that flawless look really. So I'm showing y'all my eyeshadow that I did off camera. <laughs> I couldn't see while I was recording but I did a very simple, very plain, natural look using my Huda Booty palette that I love oh so much. And now I'm um, patting in and blending in my setting powder that I put on. This Huda Beauty palette also has my good eyeshadow that I use as a blush because I can't find any other color like it anywhere. Now I'm putting on some mascara under my eye. I had went and got my lashes done, and it's really time for a fill. But I'm gonna do look look at my lash, look at my mascara face. Please do not kill me in the comments about my my mascara face. I know I'll be looking crazy when I put my mascara on. <laughs> like ew, I look like somebody's grandma. <laughs> I look like somebody's grandma. And I accidentally fucked up. Look, I got so mad. I messed up. I put, you know, I got some mascara on my um, lit lot of oh, my eye. So it's like really, really dark. But I went in and I fixed it with my concealer. We are finished. This is the finished product. I went and threw on my outfit from uh, Diva Boutique. Uh, I put, I fixed my wig up, took my curls out. I didn't put any setting spray on, but once I put some setting spray on, it will look less ashy. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like this look. I took a lot of pictures. I'm going to put some of them in the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Ooh.